Let's turn next to the fallout this morning after the Ontario government's controversial move to open up some of the Greenbelt lands, environmentally protected lands for housing development. Yesterday, the chief of staff to Ontario's housing minister resigned, effective immediately. As I say, there's reaction and further fallout, and Megan Fitzpatrick is on that story from inside the Ontario legislature. Megan, tell us more about what happened to Ryan Amato. Well, his resignation is coming about two weeks after Ontario's Auditor General's report on the Greenbelt and the process used to decide which pieces of land to remove from it to open it up for housing development. Ryan Amato, even though he wasn't named in that report, Heather, he was constantly referred to as the housing minister's chief of staff. He played a big role in that report. Bonnie Lissick finding in her review that Ryan Amato led a team, small team of uh, people choosing the lands to be removed. He set the criteria for them to evaluate the lands to make a decision. Uh, he put forward uh, most of the proposals. Ultimately, 14 out of the 15 pieces of land that were removed were uh, pieces of land proposed by Amato himself. He changed some of the criteria once that team of people found that some of those pieces of land weren't meeting the initial criteria. Uh, overall, the Auditor General saying the process process that was used to determine what land to take out was flawed, it wasn't transparent, and it wasn't normal. It wasn't the normal process or previous, um, the previous model that had been used. So in the wake of that report, Heather, um, Premier Doug Ford and Housing Minister Steve Clark were asked at their news conference following the report whether Ryan Amato would be keeping his job. Um, and the Housing Minister at the time said that uh, he appreciates the Premier's confidence in him and in his staff. In other words, nobody was changing jobs two weeks ago. Something has changed, and that announcement coming from the Premier's office last night that Ryan Amato is, in fact, resigning. Um, now, uh, one of the other, one of the recommendations in the report from Bonnie Lizick was referring uh, the matter to the Integrity Commissioner for Ontario to look into whether Ryan Amato breached the Public Service Act. So that recommendation was accepted by the government. So that is ongoing. It'll be interesting to see how his resignation affects that um, investigation. More fallout though too, just another development this morning, Heather. The Ontario Provincial Police now saying that to avoid any potential perceived conflict of interest, they are referring this matter to the RCMP. We know previously they had said uh, they were taking a look at this. Uh, now it seems like they have passed it on to the RCMP and put the ball in their court to determine whether there's an investigation warranted. So a couple of very interesting developments. We're also hearing from opposition leaders, Megan. They want more than Ryan Amato's resignation. What are they calling for? That's right. From the get-go, uh, following the Auditor General's report, they have been calling for Steve Clark's resignation. In their news conference, as I mentioned, after, after the report came out, Doug Ford had said that the buck stops with him. The opposition parties have been saying more needs to happen as a consequence of these findings. Steve Clark needs to go. He hasn't gone anywhere. Uh, but in the statements they put out yesterday after Ryan Amato's resignation, they repeated that call, Heather, from the NDP's leader, Marit Stiles. She said in a statement, this is the bare minimum of accountability for one of the most serious breaches of public trust in Ontario's history. The Auditor General's report was very clear. This staffer obviously didn't act independently. Now is the time for the minister to take responsibility to do the right thing and step down. Now, Premier Ford and Steve Clark had said they didn't know the process that Amato was using to select the lands to take out of the Greenbelt. The Auditor General has said she believes them. She did not indicate in her report that they had any uh, knowledge of what was going on. But the opposition parties don't believe it. <laughs> Similar sentiments from the Liberals and the Greens saying Steve Clark needs to step down, not just his chief of staff. Heather? Megan, thank you very much. Megan Fitzpatrick.